it's Val, and I'm coming back to you with another makeup type video. I'm gonna already have my face makeup on, so I'm gonna be using Ulta Matte Prime Primer, a Neutrogena Shine Control Primer as well, and for foundation, I'll be going in with Neutrogena's Healthy Skin Foundation in Natural Beige. And instead of using an eyeshadow primer, I'm just gonna be using Maybelline's Age Rewind Concealer, and I don't remember what shade it is in exactly, but I'm just gonna get a damp makeup sponge from Real Techniques and blend that out. And to set that, I'm gonna go ahead and use Jeffree Star's Beauty Killer Palette, and I'm gonna dip into the shade China White just to set everything. Um, considering I do have oily eyelids, I want to make sure it doesn't slip and slide everywhere just because of my oiliness. So as a transition shade, I'm going to go in with the same palette and I'm going to pick up Courtney on this cheap brush that I got from Amazon. And I just want to point it out, like, I don't do these makeup videos to show off by any means. I just do them for fun and I'm not that great at makeup, so... If for some odd reason you learned something, then that's cool, but uh, I really don't know what I'm doing, so uh, I'm just gonna pretend I know what I'm doing and uh, just uh, wing it. No pun intended. Hey. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using a Real Techniques fluffy brush um, to dip into the another um, Jeffree Star palette, the Androgyny palette. I'm gonna pick up the shade Charm which is this beautiful orange shade and I'm just going to apply that to the mid portion of my lid and kind of blend it outwards as well. I'm only going to be using three shades for this entire look so it's pretty simple and if I could do it you could definitely do it because I am not good at eyeshadow. So I'm going to go in with the shade Fetish from the same palette, the Androgyny palette and I'm just going to apply it to the outer corner of my eyelid I guess you could say it's the outer third corner of the eyelid and I'm just going to blend it as much as I can with the brush that I originally uh, picked the product up with. And this shade kind of blends out funny but uh, I'm just going to be picking up that same brush that I used to blend out the orange. It'll give it a really nice blended red-orange mix rather than just having a straight red um, crease kind of area. So I'm going to go with another... Um, purchased from Amazon. This is the matte carity palette. I'm going to be picking up that yellow shade and basically just packing it onto the inner corner or inner corner of my eyelid um, and blending it a little bit into the orange. That way it all blends like kind of nicely, not too nicely. I know I could have done a lot better, but this is this is what you guys are getting. So I'm going to go in with benefits. Um, Give me a brow like a tinted brow mascara. I think I got it from Sephora for like a hundred points or whatever. Or maybe it was two or three hundred. I don't remember. Uh, I'm just using it to comb out my eyebrows. And I'm going to be quite honest with you. I am terrible when it comes to doing brows. I really need help in that department. So I'm going to be using NYX's Tame and Frame Eyebrow Pomade in the shade Espresso. And I'm just going to fast forward this as much as I can because I am really, but I mean like really bad at eyebrows. So I'm gonna be using another Jeffree Star pa or Jeffree Star product. This is uh, his liquid lipstick and flamethrower. And rather than using it as a liquid lipstick like normal people, I'm gonna be using it as an eyeliner. And since his products are vegan, they are eye safe. And I'm gonna be doing basically the same thing that I did in my previous eyeliner video. Um, it was the Queen Bee liquid lipstick, um, the yellow one. I'm basically just going to be using this into a liquid um, eyeliner and I start off with the outer corner of my eyelid and then eventually drag the product into the inner corner just so that um, if I start, you know, if I start in the front, the product's going to get everywhere. So I focus it on the outer corner. That way I could build up. Um, the product and I didn't like how the first wing came out so I'm just gonna go in with a second coat uh, at the outer corner and just do the wing over again and what I love about this shade in particular it's really easy to get the um, the color to be opaque because with the Queen Bee liner the yellow lipstick it took about three or four coats for it to get as opaque as it is with this one um, just with two coats 
So I'm going to be doing the same thing with the other eye, just starting off at the, I guess, the second half of the eyelid, and then eventually making my way to the inner corner. I'm just going to be dragging it out, following the natural curve of my eyelid, and just winging it out. And I actually don't like how this eye turned out, but we're just going to keep going with it. And I'm going to be using NYC's liquid liner in Extremely Black. Stay tuned for this important announcement. I've recorded this video twice, and both times I have forgotten to press record to get the black um, part of the eyeliner, so... So now I'm going to be going in with Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara, and I'm just going to apply that all over. All over my lashes, from root to tip, and it's probably one of my favorite mascaras to use. I definitely recommend it to everyone who is a makeup, makeup fanatic such as myself. The next mascara that I'm going to be using is Miss Manga from L'Oreal, and I usually use multiple mascaras. I use either two to three at a time, so this is one of my favorite ones to use. And I'm using another one. I think this is the Wet n Wild Mega Lash, just to like comb out the lashes, if you will. Three hours later. I'm going to be using a Jordana eyeliner pencil and I'm just gonna be um, tight lining or applying it on my waterline just so that it looks really bold and I usually don't do this anymore I used to do this all the time in high school but I took a break from it for a couple years and I'm starting again so hopefully it looks cool I'm going with the chocolate soleil to faced bronzer or contour whatever this is and I'm just gonna contour the hollows of my cheeks um, Nothing too interesting. I'm going to be using Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics. And I'm just going to do a really subtle highlight. I didn't want anything too drastic or too dramatic. So I'm just going to be applying that to the upper corners of my cheeks as well as the nose, Cupid's bow, chin, and nose bridge area, please. And I'm going to be using um, Frosting from the Androgyny palette as a highlight on my brow bone, or sorry, um, as a highlight for my inner corners, and I'm also going to be using it for the brow bone as well. It gives like a really nice touch to this whole look. And I'm going to be picking up the shade Deja Vu from the same palette, and my neighbors were blasting weird music outside, so I'm going to just be putting that underneath the eyeliner. Um, on the lower lash line. I'm going to be using uh, another Jeffree Star product. Ooh, big shocker there. I'm going to be using Unicorn Blood and applying that everywhere. So this is the finished look. I went ahead and popped in some circle lenses just to tie it in. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learn how to do something new and I hope you guys try it out. See you soon in my next video. Peace.